In this video, I'm going to explain the assembly of the ECD4 nano dilatometer. First step is to remove the transport lock. So here on the right, you see the dilatometer head, the sensor unit. You have to release overall eight screws to remove this transport bracket which is protecting the sensor unit against damage during transport. Keep all those parts in a, in a safe space for potential later use. Okay, now the transport lock is removed and next we have to disassemble the dilatometer cell before we can um, put all the parts into the glove box. We first release the screw cap. Remove the polyethylene seal. Then use this torque controlled screwdriver to release this clamping screw and now the print flange unit can be removed from the cell base. We unscrew the assembly remove the frit flange remove the frit and the Frit sleeve. This is the inside spring loaded plunger. Okay, all those parts have to be um, dried in a vacuum oven overnight at 80 degrees Celsius. The glass frit and those three plastic parts, the frit flange, the frit sleeve, and the thrust screw should be dried at 120 degrees. So now all parts are inside the glove box. We put the frit flange here on the table, insert the reference ring. This plunger assembly into the thrust screw, press down the piston with the provided tweezers tool, then push into this frit sleeve, insert the lithium metal counter electrode, 10 mm diameter, maybe a little less, then insert the glass frit, watch the orientation of the frit, 
and then screw in the frit flange. Now this assembly is attached to the cell base. You see it's, it's moving, it's a spring-loaded assembly. We add 180 to 200 microliters of electrolyte, not more than this. Then put on top the working electrode, which can be up to 10 millimeter in diameter. It can also be smaller. The active layer is pointing down. Then attach the spacer disc. And now we we lower this lever. You see the frit flange assembly moving when pressing the lever on, on top. And then while holding the lever, we tighten the clamping screw again with this torque controlled screwdriver. Then remove the lever, insert the seal and attach the screw cap. And this center screw eventually has to be tightened with the provided torque controlled wrench. So now the cell is fully assembled. We slide over the sensor head and tighten the two nuts that hold the sensor head in place. Okay, I'm done.